Hi everybody, it's time to do some art. I thought we could make something for our mothers today. First, I thought it might be fun to do a card. This has the words to a song on it. May there always be sunshine. May there always be blue skies. May there always be mama. May there always be me. This was a song written by a little boy in Russia many, many years ago. And when he wrote those words, he wrote them to go along with a picture he made. Now, when you heard those words, you can imagine what's in it. There's got to be sunshine and blue skies and mama and him. Then on the inside, I wrote happy Mother's Day. So you could get someone to help you with the words in this, but the picture I'm sure you can do yourself. Shall I make a sun? All right. I've got my crayons. Here comes the sun. A nice, bright sun with rays coming out of it. That's one way I like to make the sun. There are many ways of doing it. Some people like to just put it in the corner. Some people like to color in the rays this way. You'll come up with your own best way. So we've got sunshine. Then we need some blue skies. Let's see. There are some blue skies. I'm having my blue skies go all the way, but you don't need to. That's just how I decided to do it. And now we need Mama and me. But only you can do you. And only you can do your Mama. So I'm going to leave that part for you. And however you do it is good. However you draw it is good. Draw it the way you feel it and it's bound to be good. And mamas love what you do. Am I right? Yeah, I thought so. That's that. Let's make another kind of card for your mom. This one, you're going to get a chance to write on it yourself. I've got my marker. Let's write mom. M-O-M. I'll show you how to do it, even if you've never done it before, although you might know how already. M goes up, down, up, down, and O is a circle. And then there's another M at the end. Here it goes. Up down, up, down, here's the O, and here's the up, down, up, down, Mom! You could write, I love you, on there too. And you don't have to write out all those words. I have a shortcut, a way that almost everyone can write it. I is a line, and some people like to put top and bottom on that line. Love is a heart, around and around. And you could be the letter U instead of Y-O-U. You could just write this. And I love you, Mom, I love you. Great, but it needs to be a little fancier, right? So, I've got some things cut out here and I want to show you how I did it. To make a heart, you fold some paper, make a shape like this, and then cut. 
and when you open it, you'll have a heart. Let me do that. I'll fold my paper. I'll draw the shape. I start at the fold and make a lump and come down. That's how it's gonna look. And now it's time to cut. Did you see how I was holding the fold? Open it up and it's a heart. Yay, a red heart. So here are some that I cut out. Pink, kind of a wider one and This one, I took the heart and cut around it. And then you get a heart within a heart. I just cut all the way around this heart. And that's how I got this. Here's some more. This is where I cut out a heart, but it's kind of fun to use it this way. And you put it on the paper and you see a white heart surrounded by pink. Here's a different shape heart, very long. That's fun, right? Now you might want some sparkle. I cut this out of foil. Many of you have foil at home. Same thing, it was folded and I cut the heart shape out. Now, sometimes you don't have colored paper at home, but you might have a magazine. And if you ask a grown-up if it's okay to use the magazine, if they're done with it, then you might find a page with a nice color on it, like I found this one. And do you see how I cut a heart out of it? I'll show you how I did it. I fold it, same thing. I draw a bulge coming down to a point and I cut it. Here goes. And here's a wonderful shiny heart from that. Here's another magazine. It doesn't have to be just one color. Look at these nice colors. That would make a good heart, right? This time, because I've done it so much, I won't even draw. I'll just Make my bulge, and down it goes. There, that was what I cut, and then I open it, and it's a heart. Oh, I kind of like that tilting. So I'm laying them out now, getting ready to glue, and you could use other things on there as well, little shiny pieces of paper. Oh, that's nice that way, and maybe some pink. There we go. And maybe a little ribbon. It could go like this, or a grown-up can help you curl it. This is called curling ribbon. Whoa, boing. This has to be taped on. Glue doesn't work. Okay, now it's time to glue, and we'll be done. You'll give it time to dry before you lift it up takes a little while. Oh, this is fun. Now, 
Now, if you don't have paper to cut out, no worries. You can draw hearts. I'll draw a few with my crayons. There's so many good colors for hearts and you can always color them in if you like. That works. Markers are good too. Paints, you could use paints. Color this in. Another one over here. Let's see, where's a good spot? Right there. Hmm. What is this color called? Oh, cerise. I love reading the colors on crayons. Cerise is a beautiful color. Wow. I think it looks good. Take a look. And it's done. I hope you had fun watching and I hope you have fun making. Bye.